Hey guys, happy Monday. We're here doing some spaghetti meatballs for dinner tonight. Um, and I always make my own meatballs. This is my my actual personal recipe um, that I've kind of crafted over the years from an inspiration from Rachel Ray. Rachel Ray was um, a big time TV person I watched 15 years ago. <laughs> um, and th this was one of her recipes that I've kind of transformed into my own. Um, and so I always make my meatballs out of ground turkey. They're nice and firm um, and they're really lean. Um, so we have actually three pounds of ground turkey here and I know it seems like a lot, um, but leftovers are great in my house, number one. Number two, um, we can always freeze them. So I love making extra when I can. So to the ground meat, um, the ground turkey here, we're gonna add some breadcrumbs, um, about a cup of breadcrumbs. These are gluten-free breadcrumbs um, because I am mostly gluten-free, so I like to try to control that where I can. So we're gonna go ahead and add the breadcrumbs, and then we have just Kraft Parmesan cheese, about a cup of that as well, and that's gonna go right on top of there. Two eggs as a binder um, for our meatballs as well. And then we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil. So since it is so lean, we're gonna add a little bit of good extra fat in there for us. Olive oil is so good for you. We're gonna add some Pampered Chef crushed peppercorn and garlic rub. This is one of my very favorite seasonings when we deal with ground meats because it just adds that kind of that, um, the salt, absolutely, but then also kind of that bite that we're used to. Um, and it makes it taste more like ground beef rather than ground turkey. We use this in our burgers. Um, and in a lot of our beef recipes as well. So we're gonna do a cap full of that, which is about a tablespoon. Actually, I'm gonna do a little bit more because this is a little bit more meat that I'm used to. So we're gonna add about a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons. The most common um, replacement for this one is a Montreal steak seasoning. So if you don't have the Pampered Chef one. And then last but not least, we're having spaghetti and meatballs and not many veggies to go with it besides the sauce in our pasta sauce. So I'm gonna actually add some Enrichables kale and fiber. This is gonna add two cups of kale and eight grams of fiber to our ground meat. Um, I'm gonna add two packets of it because norm, since it's so much, three pounds of ground meat, I'm gonna add two of them because it's gonna be leftovers. So I'm gonna be adding a total of four cups of kale and 16 grams of fiber. Um, most of our kids and us do not get enough fiber in our diets and that is what aids in our digestion um, and really just helps carry out a lot of those bad fats in our body. So we're gonna add that to here and sneak them into our meatballs and then we'll smother them in really yummy Rayo's marinara sauce. So it is green, but the great part is it's gonna be inside the meatball and so they're not gonna even know, <laughs> which is awesome. It does not change the flavor of the meatball. Um, if anything, if you add it, I'm just trying to... All right, we're back. That's what happens when you get a phone call in the middle of you using your phone. I should like turn it off. There it is. My mixing pot back here. Um, but anyway, they don't... Um, you cannot taste the kale and fiber in anything. Um, it just turns it green because it is green, it's kale. Um, and this is concentrated kale. It is literally dehydrated kale and chicory root, which is a soluble fiber, okay? So it is the, the best supplement you can add um, besides, it's, besides kale itself, okay? Um, so I'm gonna use my mix and chop to mix up the meat here. Do, 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 do. And I love it because I don't have to get my hands all dirty. And I'll show you guys, of course, what this looks like when it's all mixed together. But it's not, I mean, it's gonna look more like seasoning in the meatballs than kale. <laughs> and like I said too, it gets covered in pasta sauce and served with pasta, which is my family's favorite meal. Um, we'll even go out to like a Italian restaurant and my kids don't like Italian restaurant meatballs because they like mine so much, which is a great compliment, especially for me because my love language is feeding people. So if somebody compliments my cooking, then I'm a super happy camper. So you can see it does just turn some of it kind of a green color, um, but then when it bakes, it's gonna brown anyway, so you're not gonna see it. No worries there. I love adding it to mixed meat, especially the cable kale and fiber. Um, if I didn't have like a ground meat, I was just doing pasta sauce, I would just stir it into the pasta sauce. So the only bad thing is this is so lean that it gets stuck to the mix and chop. <laughs> Um, and then to serve out my meatballs, I use the large cookie scoop and I put them on a sheet pan with aluminum foil. And then those just go in the oven for about 20 minutes at about 400 degrees. So super easy. Now I am gluten free and um, I enjoy very much pasta. It's one of my very, very favorite things. But 
Um, I can't eat a lot of it, um, especially, and then especially without finding gluten-free pasta. Um, so my go-to is spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash, if you've ever had it, it do, it's a bear to cut. <laughs> so you need a really big knife to cut it. And I don't have you on video doing it because literally it's trying to cut through a raw pumpkin. I mean, that's what it is. Um, so I did, I did that ahead of time. You can see I even cracked it because I was trying to get through it so fiercely. Um, but it is a hard thing to get through. This is our scoop loop. And so I'm just gonna come in here and remove all those seeds. And you can tell this is great for like pumpkin carving, things like this, cantaloupe. Um, you can de-seed tomatoes and cucumbers and zucchini and everything with this too. And you have this really nice boat of spaghetti squash. If you ever had spaghetti squash, you can literally take a fork after it's done cooking and it literally just gets shredded like pieces of spaghetti. I love to pressure cook my spaghetti squash. So we have the Pamper Chef Quick Cooker here. Um, it takes about seven minutes with one cup of water. You open it up and you have really beautiful steamed spaghetti squash. You don't have to roast it in the oven. You don't have to boil it, any kind of things. It's literally a set it and forget it in your pressure cooker, which I love, love, love. Um, because I'm a busy mama. So we're gonna put both those tabs in there and seal that up for about seven minutes on just a high pressure. Um, that'll do there, and then I'll boil some pasta for the rest of the family on the stove top. So that's our dinner for tonight. Um, I will post some finished pic pictures as well, um, but just a simple family meal, really classic recipe, everyone's happy. Hope you guys have been having a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.